Hello, Sim here. So as I alluded to in my previous video, I'm going to be talking about buffer bloat, aka jitter for us in Europe. So what do I mean by that? And for those of you going, oh, it's a NetDuma video, I, I don't want to watch this anymore because it's NetDuma, I don't have one. If you have a TP link or another router that allows you to do bandwidth control, keep watching. Okay, so let's go to speed test, for example. Most people here know what speed test is. They click it up, they run it, and it tells you what your ping is. 12 milliseconds to a local server in my country. Cool, good. But there's also this thing called ping test, and it tells you your jitter, also known as buffer bloat, and I'm gonna to refer to it as buffer bloat for now. Okay, so I got a 12 millisecond ping, and what you really wanna be using is this website called dslreports.com. Now to get to this screen, you want to go to speed test and click run. Right, now here's the important point. You need to select the test here that's appropriate for your modem. How do you connect to the internet? So for me, I'm in the UK, I'm BT Infinity. We, you know, and I have fiber to the cabinet. So there's a, you know, good old green box in the road street somewhere and a copper wire from that to my house. So it's not pure fiber all the way. What it's known as is VDSL. So it's a variant of DSL. If you're in again in the UK and you happen to have Sky, you're pretty much gonna be fiber all the way to your house. So you probably wanna select fiber. In my case, I'm gonna select DSL and it's gonna run. Now what you wanna do is do this at a reasonable time of day, not at night time, because this otherwise becomes extremely unreliable and you get all sorts of random results and it's just not good. So don't run it at eight, nine, 10 o'clock, midnight, four o'clock in the morning. Run it so like nine o'clock in the morning to, you know, six, seven in the evening and you'll get something reasonable. And you wanna run it a few times between these things when you find some answers that you think you're happy with to get confirmation that it's, it's good during various parts of the day, um, but you can't run it late at night because it just seems to be very unreliable on the results you get. Okay, so you can see right now, it's got this buffer bloat chart, it's like 59 milliseconds there. That's like 60 millisecond additional ping on top of my base ping of 12 milliseconds. So you see those fluctuations on what I call the swingometer there for the for the buffer bloat. If I click on the results and share and scroll down, so I've got full wax speed, 75 megs down, 17 megs up. My buffer bloat is a just a B. But you can see, look at my download, my average ping. This is under full load, not under gaming conditions. Under full load, it's 36 milliseconds with a worst case of 59. So that's the difference between there and there is what's known as jitter, or in this case, it's also known as buffer bloat. And they put a little lag here, as you can see. Uploading, 66 milliseconds is the average case with it being 75. An idle, you know, hardly doing anything is eight to nine milliseconds, sort of like gaming conditions, sort of. But this, these are what you wanna focus on. You wanna make sure we get these as good as possible without this shooting up into the red or, or a little orangey color here or whatever it is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, slide this to 99%, okay? And I'm just gonna rerun it again. So don't worry, I'm not gonna be continuously rerunning this live. I've got some pre-captured or pre-ran stuff, so I'm gonna you know jump to that in a minute to get to the nitty gritty. I just want to demonstrate, you know, the effect of just sliding these things. So for those of you who've got TP links, you just type in different download limits and stuff for the PC that you're testing on. Remember, you, the PC can't be doing anything else. You can't change tabs of the web browser, otherwise it cancels the test. You don't want other people downloading stuff. You don't want to be using Wi-Fi. You be, want to be using ethernet cable. So already right now, you can see it says 23 milliseconds or so, rather than the 50 odd milliseconds. Later in the day, you'll see it fly all the way over to the right on 100%, for example. Well, certainly in my case. And uh, those of you who've gamed in the weekend will go, oh, games really well in the morning, and it? It's sort of okay in the afternoon, but after about four o'clock, it starts getting worse. And that's sort of why. Um, so if I go to share results, right now you can see download is, you know, it's massively come out, it's come out of that and upload is, Improved 25 milliseconds and 32. So you can see it's improved already, right? So 
uh, sliding these things. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out here, because I'm not going to do it, and I was thinking about doing graphs, and I originally planned to do graphs, and that's why I delayed this video and delayed this video. I thought I had so much work and effort to do in this. If by changing your upload speed, it can also have an effect on your download performance from a buffer bloat perspective. So bear that in mind, and it'll make sense in a minute. So I wanted to recap on stuff. One of the things you would have noticed, and I will flip back to that screen, 99% is not 54, 55 megs compared to 75 megs, right? It, it is not. Um, so yes, it affects the download quite significantly. So I'm gonna just jump to a couple of things and cover it right now. What I've done in the past is found values here this is what you specify here that affects the congestion control and affects the flower petal thing that's below the congestion control, is to find a value that's when I set my congestion control to 50% is accurate and reflective of a true 50%. It doesn't matter if I set the download to 200 megabits, I will still get a 50, 55 megabit download. So FYI. Okay, let's go back. Um, also for those of you who are on true fiber and will be by go there settings miscellaneous will have like super turbo enabled it's probably wise to to for ease to just turn that off so you can use the congestion control sliders so let's recap 12 millisecond ping base ping not my jitter not my buffer bloat so 100 percent this is the type of result i've got and i run this ran this at about half nine this morning uh, so that's 100%, 99% you can see download pretty good, upload not great. 90%, so what I've done now is slid both sliders, both upload and download to 90%. So I want to make this as simple as possible, I don't want to be um, sliding both sliders around micro, you know, 1% at a time and all this stuff, I want to try and quickly find an answer. So this is 90%. 80%, you can see well, that looks pretty good, 80%. Then nine and, and an average of 10 and 10 and an average of 11. 80% is pretty good. 70, pretty good on the download too. Upload pretty good too. So, you know, you can see why the NetDoomer recommended 70% generally. Uh, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. Now, you want to do this as quickly as possible and you want to do this a few times at different times of the day to get a picture of what really is happening for you okay because it's going to be unique to you so that's what i wanted to stress so what i did as i concentrated on download because download was the most stable thing i had in the graphs upload was always like ooh, all over the place and upload is your bullets you know you shooting your enemies right so you want upload to be stable but Let's pick the stablest download. So 100, 99, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40. It's the reason I jumped to 40, because that's the setting I chose for download, 40. Now there was a few other good settings for upload and I tried a few of them, but I settled down on 70. So if I go 100, 99, 90, 80, 70, I chose this one because, well, well strangely enough, it's nine and nine. Okay, so no stranger that I dialed in 40% and 70%. My final tab shows you. Ooh, here's one I recorded earlier in true Blue Peter fashion. Yes, download of 9 with a maximum of 10 and a upload of 9 with a maximum upload of 10. When my idol is 8 and maximum of 9. I'm pretty happy. So yes, I've sacrificed speed, but I've got a stable upload. I've been gaming with a setting for a couple of evenings now with clan mates and had pretty good gaming experience yes you've always got to be aware of a dodgy dedicated servers and all that jazz but on the whole i've had a pretty good gaming experience so this is why i wanted to show you a quick and dirty and easy way of tuning settings specifically to you you can see it visually um now okay so for those on the net doomer you found your ideal settings and i'm gonna have to slide this around because i've want to slide this back to 40 and 70 because I've flipped um, different browsers and it'll be different storage settings. Right, okay, so 40 and 70, I go to profiles. 
and I want to save the current settings. So the profile is, you know, best, best buffer blow ever. Created by yours truly, SimJC74. And I've just gone to say upload is 70, download 40, reactive, and I can't type. All right, but I don't want, I only want to save my uh, download and stuff. I don't want the geo filter settings. I want my anti flood settings, that's a congestion control, the two big sizes at the top. Bandwidth settings, that was those uh, two settings I told you about earlier for tuning in for 50% to make sure. And untick all of these. And then click save. And hey presto, it's done. So now I can go to load at any other time, drop down the list, find out my uh, buffer bloat setting that I've just typed in, best buffer bloat ever and then click load profile and it sets the congestion control appropriately. And that's all there is to it. And yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, I was, you know, experimenting so much in the past of uh, sliding uh, the sliders up and down a little bit by little bit. It's like, there's gotta be a better way. It's too slow. I, I don't personally have the patience. So if Sim doesn't have the patience, you guys aren't gonna have the patience. So the basic technique to recap is the go to speed. You know, dslreports.com, do the speed test and click run and, and, and have it as 100%. So you know what your worst case scenario is. Then go for 99%. Then slide them both down to 90% and then keep going down 10% at a time. Uh, having them in different tabs so you can go there and look at which one's the best download. Uh, and you're going to have a couple of settings. So you're going, oh, that looks good. And it seems to be working okay at this time of day. I'll save that as a profile. That looks a good profile. Because if you go to my profiles and go manage profiles, You'll see that Sim's got lots of uh, buffer blow um, things here. 30 and 47, you know, 40, 40 seems okay at half past three. This one seems pretty good at night on the Xbox One. Oh, good gameplay on the Xbox One, fantastic, because it's been a bit mm, not so good. Uh, yeah, you know, so you can see I've had, these are my original, these two puppies here are my original ones going back to um, uh, good old uh, Doom, because I talked about uh, my daytime setting and my night setting. So you can see that there is 30% download, 30 download, 42% upload. And that's when I was just watching the uh, swingometer, so to speak, with the uh, little buffer bloat thing. I didn't go to the next screen of seeing this, which gives you so much more information. It's a much easier way of figuring out the best way to get that ideal setting. So I hope you guys found this useful. I know I certainly found it useful to get the best sort of uh, approach. Um, so, if you did find it useful, really do appreciate a thumbs up on the video. It really does help my channel grow. If you're new here and you want to see some more of Sims videos, go and click that subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, don't forget to click on that bell little icon. YouTube have done stuff so uh, you don't get notifications when Sim uploads videos. So uh, make sure you got that little bell ticked. And uh, well, that's going to be it. Until next time, this has been Sim.